Hello, guys. Today we discuss an anesthesia for patients with a liver dysfunction. And of course discuss about the anesthesia in the group A. In general terms, this Patients can be considered as a normal and for minor procedure, an aesthetic technique can be dictated by a personal preference. The anesthetic, however, major should be aware of procedures aware of etiology should be particularly in the case of white even so hepatitis or test of coagulation of drug I disagree and previous episodes of anesthesia or bleeding are relevant to patient management. duration of action. Patients are shown in text may be used in the absence of colopathy and are particularly helpful in postoperative pain management. Propofol is a useful induction agent as it undergoes considerable extrahepatic metabolism. Isofluran similarly, extrahepatic blood flow is independent of acceptable. Assigned many patients may be management or in intensive care postoperative. The merit of using short and ultra short acting narcotic analgesic is debatable. Morphine and fentanyl are entirely acceptable. Postoperative admission should be considerable for all group patients undergoing major surgery in order to forestall coagulation, fluid management, renal and respiratory complications. Patients in group B and C in this group are very ill and present a considerable anesthetic challenge. There can be profound derangement of nearly every physiological system anesthesia in such patients should not be marked upon lightly. Aspects of preparative assessment are detailed in the table. And of course history, examination, encephalopathy and investigation. Previous upper abdominal surgery, portal hypertension, and colopathy dramatically increase the potential of perioperative blood loss, which can further complicate critical physiological derangements. 8-12 units of blood together, fresh frozen plasma and platelets should be available. Anesthesia for liver disease, of course, protects the airway, establish good vascular access, volume replacement, colloid blood, fresh frozen plasma and platelets, avoid solin, check current clotting, give vitamin K, correct fibrinolysis and review blood chemistry mm -hmm. about premedication. Sedative premedications should be avoided in the encephalopathic patients. Other drugs may be needed preparative and include antibiotics and age to, uh, to receptor antagonists, delayed gastric emptying is not uncommon. The oral of intravenous route should be used for administering drugs. Intramuscular injection should be avoided. Colopathy may require correction with fresh frozen plasma and platelets, and renal replacement therapy may need to In be considered. And considerations. The comments on anesthetic techniques for group A patients above applied equally in the case of group B and C patients. Original techniques need to be considered carefully as most patients with a suffer from, from colopathy and epidural viruses can pose an additional risk. Other issues of the perioperative management of group B C patients include vascular access, colopathy and fibrinolysis.
and of course discuss about anesthesia and the liver blood flow. It depends on the type of anesthesia. Regional anesthesia has a minimal effect on liver blood flow unless and compared by hypertension. General anesthesia uniformly decrease liver blood from flow by approximately 20 to 30 uh, percent. Uh, factors reducing liver blood from during anesthesia. Hypoxemia, hypercarbia, hypercarbia, hypovolemia, hypertension, sympathetic stimulation, surgical manipulation in the right upper quadrant can reduce hepatic blood flow up to 60% from sympathetic activation or direct com compression of the vena cava and splanchnic vessels. Pneumoperitoneum significantly decreases hepatic blood flow due to laparoscopic heartistectomy compared with a small incision gulgivary surgery. Patient's position, of course, mode of ventilation, positive pressure ventilation, hyperventilation, and use of angulation agents above one mark may reduce liver blood flow. There we can see effect of anesthetics on hepatic dysfunction. Veritable anesthetic. Of course, mean arterial blood pressure and cardiac output decrease with the all valetic anesthetics. And of course, we can see how cefluran and desfluran had effects similar to those of isofluran on hepatic blood flow. Cefluran has favorable effects on hepatic functions through an ischemic precognition effects. Desfluran and isofluran may no change peripherally liver function test results in adult surgical patients with a chronic liver disease. Halatan decreased both hepatic blood flow and hepatic function and should not be given to patients with advanced liver disease. Atomic that and diapental decreased hepatic blood flow as it from increased hepatic arterial vascular resistance or from reduced cardiac output and blood pressure. Ketamine has a little impact on hepatic blood flow even in large doses. Propofol was found to increase in both the hepatic arterial and portal venous circulations to significant splunking was a dilatation effect of this drug. Overall intravenous anesthetic have only a modest impact on hepatic blood flow and no meaningful adverse influence on possibility of liver function when blood pressure and cardiac output are adequately maintained. Central neural anesthesia, hepatic blow from decreased during high spinal and epidural anesthesia and appear to mirror a simultaneous reduction there we can in see map. effect of hepatic dysfunction and hepatobiliary disease on anesthetic drugs for vaccinetics. In general, several liver disease predictable after the metabolism of the drug with the large extraction rations, such as lidocaine, meperidine, and which clearance primarily depends on hepatic blood flow or porto systematic shunting. Conversely, the metabolism of low extraction drugs such as benzodiazepines influence mainly by protein binding, in which unbound drug is available for elimination, and by intrinsic hepatic clearance and metabolism, which are reduced in accordance with the severity of hepatocellular dysfunction. There we can see how APO is significantly reduce metabolism of morphine in patients with advanced cirrhosis leads to prolonged elimination half-life. In meperidine in which 50% reduction in clearance and a doublet of the half-life have been observed. Fentanyl and sofentanyl elimination is not appreciable altered in patients with cirrhosis. Unlike with and fentanyl of course, about the elimination half life of the is double in cirrhosis because of a large volume of distribution. Atomidat clearance is unchanged in cirrhotic patients. Propofol also have an elimination kinetic profile in serous individuals that is similar to that observed in normal patients. Midazolam and diazepam 
palm, a prolonged duration of action and an unchanged sedative effect should be anticipated in patients with several liver disease. And uh, about, of course, dexamethasone, dexamethasone demonstrates significant decreased clearance dosage and adjustment as uh, therefore indicated when dexamethasone is used in patient with significant and hepatic dysfunction. we can see uh, neuromuscular blocking drugs. Vecuronium is a steroidal muscle relaxant that it undergoes hepatic elimination. Hepatic dysfunction can increase the volume of distribution of vecuronium, thus prolonged is elimination half-life. Prolonged elimination half-life and pancuronium atracurium non-specific esterohydrolysis and tisacurium Hoffman have elimination, have elimination half lives and clinical duration of action similar to those observed in normal patients. Cirrhosis and other forms of advanced liver disease predictably reduce the elimination of vecuronium, rocuronium, and mivacuronium and prolongs of duration of neuromuscular blockage, especially after repeated doses or the use of prolonged infusions. Atracurium and cystacurium are not dependent on hepatic elimination and can be used without modification of doses in patients with end-stage liver disease. Hepatic arterial buffer response The hepatic arterial buffer response matches reductions in portal blood flow with increases in hepatic arterial buffer response to maintain total blood flow to the liver constants in the presence of profusky hypovolemia, indirect effects of my abdominal surgery or severe hemorrhage. Hallatan describes this compensatory response. Seofuran and isofuran maintain hepatic arterial buffer response. Seofuran further suppress hepatic arterial vasoconstriction and thus maintains hepatic arterial buffer response more efficiently than does halatan. Seofuran is also consistently equivalent or superior to isofuran in maintaining hepatic arterial buffer response. Hepatic oxygen delivery and oxygen delivery to consumption of hypercapnia decreases hepatic arterial blood flow. Hypercapnia increases portal vein blood flow due to splanchnic vasoconstriction and overall total hepatic blood flow while decreasing hepatic arterial flow. Cardiovascular application of alcoholic liver disease during anesthesia. Over of subclinical cardiomyopathy, ventricular arrhythmias, typical arterial blood gaze seen in cirrhosis, mild to moderate hypoxemia, respiratory alkalosis. Typically, hemodynamic changes seen in cirrhosis. Hyperdynamic circulation, low systematic vascular resistance. Compensatory increase in cardiac output, low to normal mean arterial pressure, mild tachycardia. Central hypovolemia, total body volume is increased. Effective arterial blood volume is decreased. Hyperresponsive to vasopressor therapy, flow dependent oxygen consumption, changes in the hepatic and splanchnic vasculated, portal hypertension, portal systemic shunting, decreases hepatic blood flow. Increase in mixed venous oxygen saturation. Pulmonary artery venous anastomosis result in arterial venous shunting and oxygen saturation. And of course about electrolyte changes in patients with a chronic liver disease. Typically we can see hyponatremia due retention of water and impaired hundred of sodium by the kidneys. Hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis, hypophosphatemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia are also seen. Hypoglycemia and fulminant hepatic failure due to failure of gluconeogenesis, insufficient insulin degradation, depletion of glycogen stores in the liver. Regional anesthesia and chronic liver disease. Of course, we must think about colopathy and portal hypertension, may contradict to the use of regional anesthesia. Peripheral nerve blocks may pose less risk than a spinal or epidural technique if the nerve sheets are located in a manually compressible space. And of course we must uh, know about the dose reduction of local anesthetic in patients with a liver disease. 
In theory, ester local anesthetics, procaine chlorpocaine, can have a prolonged duration of action due to decrease in plasma pseudohydrin stress levels. Amid local anesthetic, lidocaine, bupocaine, ropocaine does not need to be reduced due to decrease in, in intrinsic clearance. And of course, cause of prolonged apnoea after succinylcholine and serenylcholine in serenylcholine. Erotic patient, erotic patient, erotic patient, erotic patient, erotic patient. Slightly prolonged duration of noise is expected following succinoholine patient with a liver disease due to decrease in synthesis of pseudohalinesterase. Duration of long than 10 minutes should alert one to the possible other cases. Drugs have a and of prolonged the test of liver function. Parent hemal damage with failure of synthetic function, protrombin, albumin, aminotransferases, ALT, alanine dye is the gold standard biomarker for hepatocellular injury, AST, aspartate, cholestasis of obstructive liver disease, bilirubin, total conjugate and unconjugated, alkaline phosphatase. Causes of an ab abnormal alkaline phosphatase, mild elevation in alkaline phosphatase occurring in around 10% of the population and can be normal. High alkaline phosphatase, liver pathology, holostatic, fatty liver, hepatic, titis, liver tumor, metastasis, drugs, and of course, bone. Increased uh, page, page, no, disease pages and bone metastasis. Plan of action for preoperative assessment of patients with elevated transaminase levels, scheduled of elective surgery. Patients with a symptomatic mild elevation in transaminase levels, less than 2 normal, may undergo surgery without any increased risk of adverse outcome. Levels higher than this need further investigation included viral hepatitis, rec recreational drug use, and, of and course, what what screen. can we do if we can see a symptomic patient with abnormal liver test results? 